Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is JC for Hidden Knowledge. If this is the first time finding my channel and you enjoy Mandela Effect videos and similar content, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my latest videos. This is going to be the first video for 2018 and it's going to be a Mandela Effect video. I just wanted to make this quick video to get you guys all caught up with all the latest Mandela Effects that are being talked about in the Mandela Effect community. With that out of the way, let's get started. For this first possible Mandela Effect, we're going to be talking about ex-president George Bush and the book he was reading to students while the September 11 attacks were happening. Of course, many people remember the name of the book since it was reported all over the news, newspapers, on the internet, etc. And I will give you guys a second to think about it. The name of the book was The Pet Goat. However, many people remember it as My Pet Goat. There's other people on here that on YouTube, they already have done a great amount of research on this and they found a lot of instances where it's talked about as My Pet Goat and they did a lot better job than me already. So I'm going to link some of their videos below, but I'll just show you guys this one. This is from ABC News. Uh, oddly enough, they mentioned My Pet Goat and The Pet Goat in the same article, which is kind of odd. And then we have this next clip from Fahrenheit 9-11. It's the Michael Moore movie, and he remembers it as My Pet Goat as well. And I'll just play you guys that now. Secret Service rushing in to take him to safety. Mr. Bush just sat there and continued to read My Pet Goat with the children. Another thing uh, with this, for some reason, uh, many people remember Bush holding the book upside down. I don't, I don't particularly remember that, but many people say they remember the book being upside down. Moving on to the next one. For this next one, we're going to be talking about ancient Egypt and we're going to be talking about Egyptian gods. Before I show you what I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be asking you to picture some Egyptian gods, all the Egyptian gods that you could think of and what do they look like. Okay, now I'm going to show you the Egyptian god that we're going to be focusing on and it is Kepri. The Scarab God. First of all, I'm gonna ask you guys, are you guys familiar with this God? Have you ever seen him before? Now, I'm guessing the vast majority of you are gonna say you have never seen this God before because I hadn't seen this God and I've seen so many documentaries on Egypt on various different things and I just don't remember this guy. And when I first saw this, it kind of blew me away because when you first look at it, it kind of just looks like somebody just photoshopped this scarab beetle right onto his face. It doesn't even look, it doesn't look right. And it's just all over the place. You could Google it. There's so many images of this hieroglyphs, everything. It's just, it's uh, quite shocking to me that I missed this all along. It just looks so weird to me. But anyways, maybe you guys uh, have seen this guy all over the place before too. And maybe I just missed him and uh, so many other people did as well. This one just blew me away. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. This next one has to do with another president. It has to do with our current president, President Donald Trump. And this one is very strange to me because it is something that's still going on. It's still being talked about in the news. And it has to do with his latest remarks, alleged recent remarks that he made when he was supposedly talking about African nation as well as Haiti and El Salvador. And he referred to them as shitholes. Now, this story was all over the place, obviously, and it still is the alleged Mandela that is happening with this, which to me is just amazing that so many people are saying this when it's still going on in the news. They are claiming that they saw a clip where Donald Trump made these remarks. They claim they saw it in the morning news and then it's nowhere to be found. As far as I know, there has never been any clip regarding this, but apparently many people claim to have seen it which is so weird because one of the common arguments made against the Mandela effect is that people just forget or they're misremembering something. This one is just so recent and still happening and yet people are claiming this, which is very strange to me. Anyways guys, let's move on. And finally, I wanted to talk to you guys about the X-Files. I'm a huge fan of the X-Files and they have just returned. This is their second season they have done since they returned. I wanted to talk to you guys about an upcoming episode that's going to air on January 24th. It's going to be named The Lost Art of Forehead Sweat. And in this episode, they're going to be tackling the Mandela Effect. 
This is what the INDB has regarding this episode, exploring the idea of the Mandela Effect in which large groups of people remember an alternate history. And there you have it, the X-Files is going to cover the Mandela Effect, let's see what they do with it. Another thing that I want to mention for a lot of you that don't know, I opened up an online store with selling some t-shirts and sweaters. If you enjoy the channel and would like to support it, please check it out. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. Please uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and I'll catch you guys on the next one.